It's not strictly true to say that Harrogate spring waters were discovered 450 years ago. Local people have been using Harrogate's various springs and wells for centuries, but in 1571, a gentleman by the name of William Slingsby recognised the similarities between that of our springs and those of the fast-growing spa towns of Europe. This led to the development of Harrogate as one of Britain's leading spa towns. In fact, Harrogate was the first town in the world to be described as a spa-like town. Harrogate Spa's story began here in Elizabethan times. William Slingsby lived locally to the Tuit Well, known for the lap wings, or the puits as the locals call them, that fed on the salty deposits around the spring's edges. In his youth, Slingsby had travelled to Europe and been to the town of Spa in what's now Belgium and recognised the similarities between our springs and theirs. He also recognised the potential for the medicinal therapeutic benefits that the Chalabit, or the iron springs, could bring. The luxurious royal baths were the pinnacle of Harrogate's spa building achievements. Opened in 1897, these offered a whole menu of over 40 different treatments. Harrogate and the royal baths in particular have become a centre for international hydrotherapy with a reputation worldwide. Although the earliest cure seekers drank directly from the source, soon enterprising local businessmen took it upon themselves to open up hotels, bath houses, promenade rooms and pump rooms to cater for the fashionable and wealthy visitors travelling in here for the spa trade. Soon Harrogate became one of the most important spa towns in Britain. The spa water reputed to have medicinal benefits due to the minerals they acquired as they filtered through the subterranean rock layers. These were split in three categories. Chalabite, saline and sulfurous, or sweet, tart and stinking. Chalabite contains dissolved iron, saline, sodium chloride and or magnesium, but the much less common, most valuable considered by spa physicians were the sulfur waters. As word spread of Harrogate's mineral waters, it wasn't long before physicians were promoting its use in the hope of curing all manner of medical ailments and illnesses, from nightmares, plague, rickets, gout, female complaints, name but a few. But perhaps a few weeks of fresh air, plain food and exercise gave as much of a revitalising effect as taking the water themselves. But it is true, for external use on certain skin conditions, sulphur can be beneficial. Monday clinical trials have proven that bathing in it not only reduces the heart rate, but also boosts the immune system. So. It's not all poppycock and snake oil, plus around 80% of Victorians suffer from some form of intestinal parasites, so before Monday Medicine, this really was the next best thing. In one of Harrogate's earliest spa buildings, we're celebrating 450 years of our mineral springs. Built in 1806, the promenade rooms offered a social gathering place for visitors attending the old sulphur well. Today it houses the Mercer Art Gallery and a brand new exhibition is being assembled to mark this significant story. Historic prints and drawings reveal how the famous waters moulded Harrogate into a spa town and artworks by some of Britain's leading contemporary artists connect to broader themes of spas and bathing, history and health.